Hey, this is David, Richter Scale Studios. I want to do a little review on some terrain by Corvus Games Terrain. I originally heard about them on doing some co-selling on imperialterrain.com site, some corridors, and also I follow them, and they follow me, I believe, on Instagram. So I put some stuff up there. They always like my uh, prints and uh, love their stuff, too. I just noticed this building. This is called the Imperial... Uh, government building terrain, 3D printable, $8.62 US dollars. Um, I charged my uh, PayPal account through Pound Sterling. So I believe these guys are out of England or something like that. Let me see if you can see the... I'll put uh, uh, links and everything below to this. And I, my last video has a link to this too, but it was no way of seeing what it really looks like. I had it on the uh, Simplify 3D slicer i think i have still have it up there um yeah there we go and you can tell that that's the build volume you see the lines of the any cubic so it pushes to the very limit of its build volume and here it is we have luke and darth vader from star wars legion uh those bases are probably a little tiny shorter those are mdf uh rounds i'm using for priming and painting and i'm gonna do something different with the base itself so obviously this is a very substantial uh, piece of terrain. Um, it is stuck. It just came. It just stopped printing, so it's, I can't get it off the base yet. The altar base takes a while to cool, and it just kind of pops off. I printed the roof on my uh, Mark III, and I'm working on another project now from a Kickstarter model from Antisos Antisosities Workshop. I think I pronounced that wrong. I tried to put this roof on. Uh, earlier it's not fitting the grooves nice i think it might have a little bit of elephant foot on the thing just run a file through here it'll be nice and uh, flush so this thing will be well over 10 inches tall uh coming off i have to keep standing back from this thing it's so huge uh this will be nice on a table so if you want to do like an imperial city or something like that do a couple of these i want to see what else they have they do a cantina i think i want to see if i can get that printed out that'd be kind of cool and have some condos this is more stuff to uh, uh, add to your table. Because obviously I have ImperialTerrain.com and of course Terrain for Print off of Thingiverse. Uh, amazing stuff for Star Wars themed terrain. And there's so many things coming on Thingiverse and people are designing things. I'm going to probably dip my toe in soon with uh, uh, Fusion 360 and a little Tinkercad work and see what I can come up with. But this was a really 32-hour uh, print, if I didn't say that before. So it was a long print. 10% uh, infill, 0.2 layer height, uh, Maker Geek, uh, Gray Matter Gray. So you can see the detail on this thing, very nice. It's got some windows cut in it. Um, I don't know, I guess you can put floors in it, that's kind of cool for shooting holes. Most likely I'll do some plastic hard ceiling on it and make it more glass looking. So I'm going to leave this right here. I'm going to come back when it cools off. I'm going to take it downstairs in the garage and throw it on the table and uh, rotate it or maybe you get a uh, some kind of display dish and uh, so I can spin it and show it to you. I was just really kind of surprised how big and epic this was so I had to share it. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Hey there, I'm back. I decided not to take it downstairs in the garage. Uh, I'm not going to spray paint it right now. It will probably be tomorrow sometime. I just brought it over to my painting desk up here in the studio. We got Luke and Darth still uh, next to it to show the scale of this huge piece of terrain uh, hollow through it was still like i said close to 32 hour to print and plus the five hours for the roof i still haven't filed down the roof but that's gonna look great great on there i have another roof back here i printed on my prusa mark three i forgot to uh turn off supports from another print and part of it came out a lot of it i mean fused solid you can't get anything in there so this will be used for something else in the future. Maybe do uh, like a pink foam piece of terrain. And it'll be a really cool roof to implement it. I mean, it's awesome looking. So you can use it again. Uh, so great. And I'll do a quick little tour of this. Obviously, this is the front. I still want to plastic card the inside windows, most likely. Because this is, I don't imagine using this interior of any of this. You never know. We could put a roof up there. and uh, But still, like the, the windows are so small. So this side, we got um, some kind of vents, vents. Uh, I can imagine some kind of gray, do a lot of the highlight on the panels. 
uh, edge highlighting, some darker color in there, like um, I don't know, like there's some, some kind of piping to split up the building a little bit. And then the back, we got the pipe detailing, some kind of uh, maybe a lighting effect right there. It might be a night light or some kind of thing. Uh, then we have some kind of crate or something there. This looks like a power unit. Maybe that's AC, that's power, or vice versa. There's all kinds of little things you can uh, detail on this. It'll be kind of cool. Yeah, that, that'd be kind of cool. I might do like little lights on here. And up front, I don't know if there's any lighting. There you have like uh, panels. Uh, maybe do lights up there. would be kind of cool too. Just uh, have some kind of uh, pop, something that pops on this. So uh, that is going to be it. Um, like I said, I'll put all the information where you can purchase this at. I have nothing to do with uh, Corvus Games Terrain. I just bought it and printed it out of the blue and was kind of blown away by the size of it. It is epic. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you for joining me. Hey, real quick before I uh, end the video, I want to show the train on a game board with other train around it. it should really show how uh, big this thing is. Uh, there's some Star Wars Legion uh, barricades, so it is substantial. There's some terrain from other companies, Imperial Terrain, and there's terrain for print. And obviously you saw that in the last video. Uh, even though that uh, Lambda Cruise shuttle is undersized, it still looks pretty epic up there. So let's do a little quick 360. This would be great to do like a, you know, uh, like an Imperial City or Controlled City and do a few of these buildings and maybe do some craft uh, up some other ones or do some quick uh, ones on Tinkercad or a Fusion 360 and put like a little cityscape together too, like a little clean city, not desert or forest or anything like that. I think I'm gonna do another set of boards. It's gonna be one side will be city. So I'm not sure what the other board would be like. As you can see, I still haven't done the uh, forest jungle board yet. So I have the desert side, but everything, I start flipping it over, ready to go. So, uh, Thank you for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. And we'll probably be doing part three on the uh, Legion game board soon. And that'll be the end of the series. And then if we do another game board, I'll start another series on that. Once again, thanks.